Hi friends, hope you are doing well. So today's video topic is how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11 and in this process there will be no data loss. All your data will remain safe. So let's start the process. So as you can see I have some files and folder on my desktop and I also have another partition. You can see I have this other partition E drive and I also have some files and folder in it. So in this process all your data in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe. Before we start the process, I will tell you three important things. The first thing is make sure you have at least 10 to 15 GB of free space in your C drive. I have 26 GB of free space, so that is enough. But make sure you have at least 10 to 15 GB of free space. The second important thing is make sure your Windows 7 is activated as you can see and the third important thing is make sure your system type will be 64 bit so as you already know is that windows 11 is available in 64 bit only so make sure your system type will be 64 bit so now let's start the process first you need to download windows 11 iso image from microsoft official website so open your browser and type windows 11 now click on the first URL of Microsoft, download Windows 11, click on it. Now scroll down and you will see this option, download Windows 11 disk image ISO 64 bit devices. Select the iOS image, then click on download now. Now select your language, then click on confirm. Now click here 64 bit download and you can see the process has been started and the file size is 5.4 GB. I already have the image so I will cancel this process. So this is how you can download Windows 11 ISO image. Now you have to extract this ISO image so right click on it. I am using 7-zip software. It's a free software. So first I will extract this ISO image. And if you don't have any uh, zip software, you can download and install 7-zip. It's a free software. I will show you how to download this software. Open your browser and type 7-zip. And this is the official website of 7-zip. Click on it. Now you will see the download option. Click on download. And that's it. The download has been done now. Now install this software. So this is how you can download and install 7-zip. Now you have to wait for a few minutes. So the process done. So this is my Windows 11 folder as you can see. And now I don't need this ISO image. I can also delete this ISO image file as well. So this is my Windows 11 folder. Now open this folder. Then right click on setup, then click on run as administrator. Now you have to wait for a few seconds. So after waiting for 10 to 15 seconds, you will see this window. Now click on this option, change how setup download updates, click on it. Now you will see these two options, download update drivers and other features. So if you are Wi-Fi is enabled, you can select the first option. This option will also download the updates as well. But this process, the first one will take more time. And if you don't have internet access right now, you can select the second option as well. And it is up to you. Then click on next. This is a time taking process. It will take up to one hour or two hours maximum. Click on accept. Now you will see these two options, keep person files only. If you select the first option, all the data in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe. There will be no data loss, but all the softwares will remove. So there is no option to keep your softwares. Your software will remove in this process, but all the data in your system will remain safe. There will be no data loss. And if you select the last option, third option, nothing. In that case, all the files, all the software will remove. 
so go for the second one keep personal files only this option is not available on windows 7 so go for the second one keep personal files only then click on next now you will see ready to install install windows 10 pro keep personal files only then click on install and the process has been started and it will take time so i will fast forward this video click on next click on next click on accept finally the process has been completed and my system has been upgraded to windows 11 and all the data on my desktop is still remain safe i will show you the other partition as well so this is my second partition all the files are remain safe so there is no data loss so this is how you can upgrade your windows 7 to windows 11 and in this process there will be no data loss this is all for the video thank you